Hi everybody, now that you've downloaded Blender, I'm gonna show you the process for combining ChatGPT to generate Python code that we can run in Blender. Now this is very similar to what we saw with p5.js and what we saw with uh, running a website in our browser. Um, so you need to be really, really specific here when asking ChatGPT to generate this code. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is have ChatGPT open and we're gonna open Blender on our computer. And I'm gonna right click and delete this box. So I have an open playground here, okay? So uh, the look and feel to your Blender might be different than what you saw in the previous video. For example, you might not see scripting up here, okay? So what we're gonna do is just play around with generating a few simple animations in Blender using um, ChatGPT. So here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get it to write a Python code, which is the language that Blender interprets, to just have a box moving across the screen. Okay, so let's go through and let's see if we can pull that off. So I'm gonna say, um, write a script for an animation of a box moving across the screen over and over in Blender. So it's generating this code. Notice this looks a little bit different than what we saw with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS before. So it gives us some general instructions on how to do that. Um, what I'm gonna do is copy this code, okay? And if you notice over here on the toolbar on the right, I'm gonna click this. And I'm gonna go over here to scripting. For some of you, this might be up here at the top, but for me, it's here. And I'm gonna click text editor text new and I'm going to paste that Python code that I generated in chat GPT here in Blender. Then I'm going to go text and I'm going to say run script. And there it is. There's the box running across the screen over and over. For some of you, this play button might have started in the off position. Um, so I can run it however I want. I can replay it etc. There it is over and over again. Let's try and see if it can change the script so that it's a ball rolling. Can you change the above script so that it shows a ball rolling on the screen over and over? So I'm gonna wait for it to generate. And when that's done, I'm gonna copy that exactly into that same space from before. I'm just gonna replace the code. Wait a little bit here. Okay, so it's giving me some instructions on how to do that. I'm gonna copy this Python code over. And you know what, I'm just gonna press pause here and I'm going to replace this with my new code. I'm gonna hit text and then I'm gonna hit run script. And now we have it running through a ball that is spinning. So that's not what we wanted. Let's go through and press pause here. I'm gonna delete all these objects. I'm gonna hit text and I'm gonna hit new. Boom, text run script. Okay, so not doing it. Let's see if it can do it natively. So I'm gonna say, can you write a new animation script that shows a ball rolling across the screen over and over in Blender. Okay, so I think it tried to combine those two. Let's see if we can get it to do this. And I'm showing you this process just so that you understand um, how we can interact with ChatGPT. Remember, it's not alive, so we need to keep giving it instructions. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna replace this, text, run, and hit play, and 
here we have it. So it keeps getting confused as to what we're doing here. Um, so what I'm going to try and do now is start this over. And this is so fun. I love this. Um, we're going to go text new. And what I want to do is delete all of this. You know, I'm just going to start Blender over. Don't save. Okay. So create an animation in Blender, an animation script in Blender that shows a ball bouncing across the screen over and over. Let's, let's switch it up. Okay. So here's our code. It's getting fast. We're going to try and get it to make a ball bouncing across the screen over and over. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to open up Blender. Now you can tinker with how to delete those slides. I just didn't want to waste your time in the video here. So I'm going to delete this initial box by right clicking. I'm going to hit this toggle text editor, text new, paste text run script so now we have the ball there run and there it is so the ball is bouncing on the screen um but it doesn't seem to be doing it over and over let's see when this oh there it is so we could go back into either the code and we can inspect for this timing or we can go back here and we can ask ChatGPT to make it uh, not have a pause between bouncing so it simulates bouncing in real life. So you can imagine here, we could go through and we could see if we could get ChatGPT to maybe generate a person running or perhaps a ball bouncing in between two boxes simulating a video game. All kinds of stuff you can do and that's really what um, we're gonna challenge you to do similarly to what we did in the previous ChatGPT P5.js and ChatGPT um, uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS challenges. So have fun with this. See what you can create. And if anything, it's just a nice chance for you to play around with Blender, um, leveraging this concept of coding within 3D modeling. Um, really, really, really exciting. Okay, you can also generate static objects if you like, and then export those as STL files to print if you wanted to. So I'm really excited to see what you do. And again, you're going to be using Screencastify to capture your favorite animations. Take care.